from ABC News, live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America. As the obesity epidemic continues to spread, more and more Americans are turning to surgery as the way to lose weight. But what if you could reap all the benefits of surgery without having to undergo the knife? Juju has more in this potential power of hypnosis. It's so strong. That is the question. Could you trick your mm -hmm. mind into thinking that you had surgery? Now, hypnosis is so widely acceptable. In fact, an NIH study reports that two-thirds of all doctors say they refer patients for hypnosis when appropriate. But could you actually trick your subconscious into believing you'd had bariatric surgery? For one woman that I met, the proof is in the pounds. <laughs> Marianne Zega is on a gurney, about to have gastric band surgery. She smells anesthetic, hears operating room staff, and feels doctors putting a band around her stomach. It's an operation that happens tens of thousands of times a year. But what makes this procedure unique is that none of it is real. You feel relaxed. It's all taking place in Marianne's mind. It's called gastric mind band, and it's done through hypnosis. The treatment is the brainchild of hypnotherapists Martin and Marion Sheeran, who run a clinic in Europe. They got the idea a few years ago from a patient. She said, my next door neighbor's just been in hospital and paid a lot of money, had a gastric band fitted, and I just thought maybe if I came in to see you, you could hypnotize me to make me think I've had one done. Much cheaper, no surgery. And, and a we, clever patient. Yeah. <laughs> The idea is to fight obesity mentally. The intensive four-day program also includes behavior therapy to help patients understand what triggers their eating and resist temptation. But it culminates in the gastric band hypnosis session. We create smells into the room, um, have background noises, because the more senses that are involved in the whole process, the stronger the suggestion is. I have to say, it sounds like you're waving a magic wand over someone. Is that what this is? No, it's far from that. It's, it's got to come from the person themselves. The shrimp are good. Which like brings us back to Marianne. Last year, at 325 pounds, she was ready for a change after struggling with her weight for most of her 47 years. My weight controlled my life. I was more a homebody. It probably prevented me from dating a lot and just doing everyday things. You were really this close to trying the surgery. Yes, I already went to my doctor, consulted with her. But instead of surgery, she went to see Hazel Newsom, the only hypnotherapist in the U.S. trained by the Sheerans in the gastric mind band. We've had weight loss hypnosis for quite some time. This is different. Yes, they absolutely do believe that they have a smaller capacity to eat. Yes. So in your mind, you have a band around your stomach. Yes. And that feels real to you. Yes. Immediately after I left, I felt different. How long did it take before the weight started coming off? It just felt like it melted off of my body overnight. This is her before. This is her now. I've, yesterday was 10 months and I've lost 120 pounds. How do you explain how that happened? Through my subconscious, through my mind. My mind controls what goes into my body. Their European clinic has been so successful, the Sheerans will now offer their $3,000 therapy here in New York. I'm a journalist, so I'm paid to be skeptical because $3,000 is an awful lot of money to be paying for what is essentially an unproven treatment. Type 2 diabetes is also very, very expensive on your health. I don't actually know whether you can compare, if you can put a price on it, what, what someone's getting. You have a six-month waiting list. Hmm. What explains that, do you think, Marion? Because word has spread now, and um, we've had such a good success rate. Over the course of the last four years, we've treated just over 400 people with this treatment. The success rate has been very, very high, over 74%. There's been no sort of rigorous scientific study of whether or not your process works yet. And in many ways, it's unproven. You're dead right. You know, a, a pure medical paper will probably be the next step for us. But Marianne has all the proof she needs. She says she doesn't just have a new body, but a new life as well. How would you describe yourself then versus now? I'm dating. Um, I go out a lot more. I'm more confident. I feel like I'm living my life now. So you genuinely feel like a changed woman? I do. 
so uplifting. Now, the head of the American Society of Clinical Hypnosis says it's hard to find a field that hasn't used hypnosis successfully. Everything from quitting smoking to irritable bowel syndrome, and especially for pain management, childbirth, and even for some patients, surgery. I'm very happy for Marianne, and he talked about the success rate. Is it proven? It's a very high success rate, but it's their numbers. They're reporting 400 patients, 74%. I said, but it's basically unproven until you get it published right. and peer-reviewed. And they said, look, we're eager to do that because that's the next step for us. If we can get that kind of scientific documentation, we can offer it more widely. Insurance companies would yeah. pay for it, and that's the key. That is the key. All right, Juju, fascinating to say the least. Thank you.